Pew, pew. Huh? Ah! Ah! Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another part of this new campaign. The Rise of Constantine. Uh, hopefully we will wipe out the picks in this turn. And... I think we're in a position now... Oh, we can actually upgrade the Leo first. And get some Ballista as well, so we'll definitely do that. Maybe... Three units of Ballista should be enough. And we can upgrade all of them. We've got the money. As we have to have a bit of an established empire, so we do have the money to keep on doing things. Um, might as well get some farms. Okay. So, I believe in the comments of the first episode, someone asked me how I can zoom out so much. Um, I don't know, I just use the mouse wheel and this is what, this is what happens. I, I don't know if that's anything different to how it's been before, but... We should probably attack that. Uh, I'm, I'm tempted to fight it, but it wouldn't end well for me, so I think I may just auto-resolve it in this instance. Unit of Cavalry got completely wiped out. We will... Mm, well, all we need to do is occupy, really. Stab, stab, stabity, stab. There goes the picks. And they are now destroyed. I can't convert anything this turn. Unit of Cavalry was completely destroyed. Ooh. I like that they've changed this around as well. Hmm. We'll go for more campaign maps. Oh, we can get extra bonuses. This is good. I'm not really sure what all the different mods that are inside this. I think there's some kind of like sub mods and stuff. Um, we'll go for minus. Uh, no. Accomplished skirmishers for middle fighters. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, because I haven't really dipped my hand into the world of the Total War Rome 2 mods much. This is the first one I've really done a lot on. And even then, I haven't really done that much on it yet. So, we'll get to experience the mod together. Hmm. So that was my little garrison there. And... Oh, we do have a couple of Legio cohorts as well. Okay. Oh my god. So people still are not liking my rule in Spain. Although it's not critical, it's mainly just going down like one a turn. Which I can handle. That's fine. Hmm. Oh, bums. So, okay, I forgot about that. Ah. Okay. Fajum. Now, why did I need a field of Mars here? Where is my legion? Oh, so I could actually recruit some decent troops. No, that wasn't it. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> okay. So. I think we'll go for... The rightful sovereign. I am the state. Yes. And we get another one. Sweet. I'd rather be first in a village than second in Rome. Hmm. I think we'll go for Unwavering Patriot. We may as well send Constantine down on his merry way. We'll just march down there first. Oh, really? What could I destroy here? I don't think I'll need that anymore. Hmm. Or I could just send a legion over. And then we'll just stick him in there. 
Now our army up here, eventually, I will send it down to take the take out the Ebadani. And I should be able to recruit Ballista. No. Is that a different province? It is, yes. Okay. Right. So. I can't see what buildings they have here. I can try and sabotage them though. We'll see if we can poison the wells. Yes! Good. Good! So he's increasing rank, which is lovely. Actually, I think I have a few mercenaries in this army, which I will disband. Ah, if I could actually click on the army. Increase my income slightly more. In terms of my armies, I don't really need to bring any more to bear. Because we have Constantine Augustus coming down. But not a full army, so we'll get another uh, we'll get a unit of Velites. So we actually have a full stack. They're fine there. They're fine on the border. They're fine there. Oh gosh. It's a shame my force in Spain, well, my hold in Spain is starting to wane slightly. Just through poor management. I will try and solve that though. Okay. Right. So that's what we can do there. If I moved this army out, then that would just go down to the miners. Oh, jeez. But the whole province is uh, not amazingly happy, but... Hmm. Go for one of them. Can I convert any of these buildings yet? I can just dismantle them. Which I'll do. You, sir, I can go in to Cordillera. Um, I can probably get rid of that. So, is invading in the winter a good idea? Probably not. However, as long as I follow the road... there is there a road that goes through here? Okay. Very carefully manage. Keep on going. Almost there. You're almost out of the snow. <sighs> that was a close one. Okay, so in the next turn or two, we should be ready to march and begin our war against Maxentenius Augustus. No, nope, did not want to do that. What I wanted to do was sabotage your army, sir. Okay. So I can expand Ocadorus. I don't have any money to use to expand it, though, so I won't for now. But I imagine I'm going to be fairly outnumbered when I do choose to invade. But I got my ballista. That's all I really wanted. <laughs> I do like siege weapons. Okay. Uh, yep, thank you. So everyone's going up in ranks through no... from me not doing anything, really. Right. Oh ho ho. He's definitely going to be a Dread Commander, I think. Uh, someone else is also increasing rank. Let's have a look at the. Like, yeah, the second Augusta. Oh, he has a couple of skills. Okay. Could be a proven leader, sir. If you just. I. Hmm. Oh, 
I like all these different traits that they can get now. Um, camp administrator. Oh yes. Now where is my main army? Legio the first. Here we are. It's time for us to. Oh, <laughs> research of technology definitely. Oh, the reforms of Constantine. Okay. However, that, that takes 62 turns to research, so I don't really think we need that yet. Maybe something to do with economy, however, our economy is fairly... We'll get, we'll get extra tax. Right. So... There he is. Okay. Max Antonius Augustus. For the Senate's part, welcome. For my part. Time for you, sir, to be wiped from the face of this earth. So we'll send Constantine in first. Just slowly, slowly advance because I don't want to take any attrition here. Okay, so we took a tiny bit of attrition, but not a whole lot, and I'm going to fight this one on the map. So you can see the first conquest of Constantine over Maxentenius. Ah, this is going to be sweet. Hopefully the war will go fairly smoothly. I imagine, of course, we will have setbacks, but I'm sure my men will plough on through. At least that's the plan. <laughs> Come on, loading times. I think my PC is acting a bit slower than usual, mainly because I just finished rendering a video, and I think that takes a lot out of it. Little poor little thing. Okay, we shall wait until we have a clear day. There we go. Right. I won't need any of the you fellas to carry anything. Understood. Actually, I I will get you to go on the siege weapons just to get him out of the way. And then you can drop him. Cohorts of Quilia. Let's take a look at them. Beastly unit. And we've got veterans. And just normal. Anyway, I am digressing slightly here. Set up the ballista. Why do you still have the siege weapons? Oh my god. Right. We have a couple of units of auxiliary. Well, actually, no, that's our only unit of auxiliary forces there. Uh, scout riders, not going to be great in a fight. And of course we don't want to forget about Constantine himself. Wait. Let's see if we can spot him. Oh, Constantine. There he is. Oh, they actually modelled him as well. That's good. Okay. Time to begin. First things first, let's take out some walls. Donk. Donk. <laughs> Hopefully kill some of their levies and velites while doing it. Now let's take out the arrow towers. Get them to crumble under the might of the Roman forces. They have another one over there. However, I'm probably just going to go for a main breach 
here. If I have the ammo, I probably will take out that arrow tower as well. <laughs> okay, now time to see them all fall down. I do like Ballista. Right. And they are far more accurate than I probably would be. Donk. Okay, good. Um. Time to send in the cav. So they're completely shattered. We're pretty much out of ammo, so I'll send my cab in and start scouting around. I believe that may have been their barracks that I'm deaf. <laughs> I've absolutely destroyed. Oh, we've got a bigger breach. Very good, very good. Okay, so I'll see how far my cavalry can go without being pushed back. In the meantime, I'll send my legions in. They appear to be doing or well, getting further in than I thought they could. Now. Hmm. Where are they taking fire from? Ah, that arrow tower. Okay, so I believe yeah, there are their defences. And this is when I pull my cavalry back. And wait for my legions to get in. Organise them into two ranks. Actually, they could probably go three ranks. Melee troops, position you up here. Better taste can go a bit further up. Okie dokie. However, I'm pretty confident we can defeat a couple of units of legionary cohorts. Oh. Especially if I use my cavalry correctly. I'm going to get them to come up here. The only casualties that I'm taking at the moment <laughs> are ones from that poxy arrow tower. Scout riders. Scout riders. Scouts. Advance at speed. Hurry up, skits. actually form the tortoise. And that's very effective. Oh no, never mind, they've, they've broken the tortoise. Well, no, yep, they are continuing to use the tortoise. So, I guess I'll move my Grand General up. Oh, everyone run. <laughs> okay. Throw your peeler. Oh, don't. And this is where Max Antonius loses his first city. Oh, they have another Legio cohorts. Okay. I've got more legionary cohorts than I first fought. Won't be a problem though. Get 
my melee troops. Not my melee. What am I talking about? So, at the minute they are in formation attack. I wouldn't have thought they needed to be. However, if I am, if I am fighting other Roman troops, it's probably safer to keep them in formation. It's Constantine in position. He's getting there. So you can use your presence. And loyalty of the Emperor. Yes. And now let's watch the superior... Oh! He was getting a bit of aggressive. Oh, there we go. There, there's... Yep. <laughs> I think my missile troops can stop firing. Scout riders. Sweet. Well, we lost 37 men. Ah. <sighs> And I'm never going to sack a, sack a Roman city. Um, it's not the civilians' fault, they were under the false emperor. So I will just occupy. And down he goes. We can liberate. No, I'm not going to liberate. Do, 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 do. Oh! Really? That seems like a really weird province. Just to have that plonked there. Well, nevertheless. Oh, that doesn't suit me. No, 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 no. We shall have the Church of Holy Peace. No. Mm. Soldiers of Christ. Yes. We'll start to spread our religion. Now we've entered the tip of Italy. Or the top. I'll send my spy further in. Maybe to Pavatium. Be interesting to see when we control... Oh. I think that's Rome there. Shrouded in mystery. <laughs> okay. Good. Well, I'll just see the end of the turns if they do any decide to do any counterattacks. I don't think they will, though. No, no, hasn't done anything this turn. Although, for all I know, he's amassing a massive navy in preparation for an invasion in Espana. Oh, I need to take Coria. Okay. Yes, that does need to be taken. <laughs> Population surplus. Okay, well, we'll build another church. Right. Anyone who isn't happy, I'll just build churches all the time. Okay, so you, I'm probably going to dispatch you up to Augusta Vindelele to come. Up you go, sir. Oh, yep, yeah, we're taking attrition. We're not if we go there. Okay, and then in another turn I'll take that. And they're pretty happy with me now. So if I marched out, would that go down? That goes straight down, so I'll leave them in there. And that's where I'm going to end the part. So, we've actually conquered the first bit against Maxentinius Augustus. And I intend to continue the conquest next time. Toodle pip!